So I want to go back to the statements that we've initially had in the beginnings of Fundamentals of Logic. So P means combinatorics is a required course for sophomores. Q, J.K. Rowling wrote the Harry Potter series. And R, 2 plus 3 equals 5. Now what if I asked you, how would you find the truth table if I gave you the statement, J.K. Rowling wrote the Harry Potter series and if 2 plus 3 does not equal 5, then combinatorics is a required course for sophomores. So how you would write this in a statement would be like so. It would be, well, the first thing would be we go through and we do the ifs first. So if 2 plus 3 does not equal 5, then combinatorics is a required course for sophomores. So what you do is you do, well, that is R, and that is uh, 2 plus 3 not equals 5. So that is a, that pretty much means the negation of R. And if, if 2 plus 3 does not equal 5, then combinatorics is a required course. Well, that just telling that's just telling me that uh, implies is needed here. So if two plus three does not equal five, then combinatorics is a required course for sophomores. So that what statement is P. So uh, then we have to append this to the first statement, which is J.K. Rowling wrote the Harry Potter series. And if two plus three does not equal five, well, this whole thing was pretty much one whole statement. So we just have to append this first statement to that, which is P, because it has the special, special, uh, special word and. That is why we use the caret. And that is not P, but that is Q, messing things up. So if, so if J.K. Rowling wrote the Harry Potter series, which is Q, and just disappeared, shitty program. And if 2 plus 3 does not equal 5, which is the negation of R, then combinatorics is a required course for sophomores, which is P, implies P. So how are we going to find this? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to use the truth table to find that. And I have that here. So that same, that same, uh, that's, that same compound statement. So we can see that we actually, we're usually... We're using three statements now. So that requires eight rows. So what you do, how you find out how many rows you use is you just go two to the power of how many individual statements you have. So let's say, well, right here we have uh, we have three individual statements. So that's two to the power of three and two to the power of three is equal to eight, equal to eight. So that's why we have eight rows. If you had Four, if you had four individual statements, then you would use two to the power of four, and that would be how many rows that you have. And how you give the numbering would be like so. For the first column, you give half of the row zero, like so. Zero, 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 one, 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 one. And then for Q, you give them like, like a quarter of it. So zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, one. And for the last statement, you give them, uh, you give them alternating zeros and ones. So now that we have that done, how are we going to get to this statement? So we need a negated r. So that's what we'll do first. It's fairly easy to get negated r. We already have a r, so we'll just negate that. Get the inverse of that. One zero, one zero, one zero, one zero. Okay, so that's so good so far, right? So we have negated R and we have implies P. So we already have these two individual statements. So we use uh, negated R implies P. So if if we have a, a 1 for negated R, 1 implies 0 or 1, 1 implies 0. So what, what, was that, what was that before? So it's kind of following the intuition that we have here. So that would be uh, 0. And following along, 0 implies 0 would be 1. And 1 implies 0 would be 0. Again, 0 implies 0 would be 1. 1 implies 1 would be 1. 0 implies 1 would be 1. 1 implies 1 would be 1. And 0 implies 1 would be 1. So it's pretty simple. You're using the same logic that you went through 
uh, that I went through with you in the, in the last video. So now we have everything. We have this compound statement. Now we just have to append it with the queue. So 0 and 0 is 0. 0 and 1 is 0. Uh, 1 and 0 is 0. 1 and 1 is 1. Which is 0 and 1, 0, 0 and 1, 0, 1 and 1, 1, 1 and 1, 1. So now we found the truth table for the statement that we were uh, out to get, and that's how you uh, do the truth table with three statements. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And I'll see you guys next time for another uh, another truth table. And I'll give you a preview of that. So just as an example, we can go ahead and try to fill out this uh, this whole truth table, and I'll go over with it uh, with it go over with go over it with you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.